The Chevron Dart Fast service is designed for testing and analyzing cylinder drip oil, also called scrape down oil. Dart Fast monitors the running conditions of two stroke large bore engines and increases operational reliability. Two stroke diesel engines are by far the most efficient prime movers for large seagoing merchant vessels. Most of these engines are powered by heavy fuel oil. During combustion of this fuel, sulfur oxides are produced. In the presence of water, these sulfur oxides form sulfuric acid, which can condense in the combustion chamber. This can lead to acidic corrosion, also called cold corrosion, which can cause excessive wear. One important function of cylinder lubricating oil is to protect the engine from such acidic corrosion. This function is provided by the alkalinity in the cylinder oil. The cylinder oil's base number is a measure of the level of alkalinity. When fresh cylinder oil is injected in the combustion chamber, during combustion, the alkalinity is consumed while neutralizing the sulfuric acid. The used cylinder oil is partly scraped down the cylinder liner wall during each stroke of the engine to the piston underside space and collected at the scavenge space drain of each unit. The level of the remaining alkalinity in this cylinder drip oil is called the residual base number. Introducing too much alkalinity in the combustion chamber will result in the formation of excessive abrasive deposits on the piston top lands, ultimately leading to increased liner wear and scuffing. Too little alkalinity will result in cold corrosion. Therefore, it is important to maintain the correct sulfur base balance by using a cylinder oil with an appropriate base number in combination with proper adjustment of the cylinder oil feed rate. Chevron Marine Lubricants offers a complete range of cylinder oils of various alkalinity, ranging from 25 up to 140 BN. Chevron developed the Dot Fast service for assessing the performance of cylinder lubricating oil through testing cylinder drip oil samples. It's an accurate tool to select the proper cylinder oil base number and determine the most optimal and economical cylinder oil feed rate for each engine running conditions. Cylinder drip oil analysis predicts anomalies, improves performance and cost of operation, and above all, increases reliability and safety. The Dot Fast service provides your fleet with both onboard and onshore drip oil analysis. The DotFast onboard test kit enables you to complete onboard drip oil analysis quickly and easily. It measures the total iron wear level with laboratory accuracy. In combination with the measurement of the residual base number, it enables you to fully understand running conditions in your engine and to take corrective actions when needed. Cylinder drip oil sampling should be carried out during stable engine running conditions. We recommend carrying out onboard drip oil analysis every two weeks. Drip oil samples should be collected in clean sampling bottles. It's recommended to use the Chevron Fast Sample Kit. During sampling, use the appropriate personal protection equipment. The sampling procedure is applicable for each cylinder unit. Step 1. Close the main drain valve from the scavenge airspace drain. Wait until sufficient cylinder drip oil is available for flushing and sampling. Step 2. Open and flush the sampling valve. Step 3. Clearly write the number of the corresponding cylinder unit on the sample bottle. Step 4. Place the sample bottle under the sampling valve and fill it up to at least three quarters with drip oil. Close the sampling valve. Step 5. Finally, reopen the main drain valve. Step 6. After sampling drip oil from all cylinder units, fill in a DOTFAST engine data sheet which requests vessel information, operational and fuel data. This information is critical for correct interpretation of the measurements. The sheet is required for every batch of cylinder drip oil samples sent to the laboratory for onshore analysis. Step 7. Fill in the FAST sample labels and adhere each label to the appropriate sample bottle.
The drip oil samples should be analyzed within one to three hours after taking the samples from the engine in order to avoid heavy and larger wear particles from settling down. The Dotfast onboard test kit consists of a case holding the Chevron drip oil analyzer with its batteries and power adapter, a pipette, manual, quick start guides, and a CD-ROM containing the manuals, the engine data sheet, and the worksheet. The drip oil analyzer is used in combination with a dispo rack. One dispo rack contains 12 iron testing units, which allows for 12 cylinder drip oil sample analyses. All analysis instruments should be used in a clean, dry, dust-free environment and placed on a flat, level surface. Suitable safety and personal protective equipment, such as safety goggles and gloves, must be used at all times. The drip oil analyzer can be used as a standalone device or connected to a suitable power supply. Lay out the pipette, the dispo rack, and some paper or clean tissue. Arrange the drip oil samples according to their cylinder number. Take an iron testing unit and write the corresponding cylinder number on it. Place a cuvette in the first row of the dispo rack for each sample. Fix the iron testing units in numerical order in an upright position in the dispo rack. Note that the dispo rack makes it possible to fix the iron testing units in upright as well as in sloping position. Gently press the pipette tip onto the pipette until it's firmly seated. A spare pipette tip can be found in each dispo rack. Open the sample bottle. Using the pipette, transfer a fixed volume of 100 microliters of each drip oil sample to the iron testing unit following these steps. Step 1. Place the pipette tip in the center of the drip oil sample. Push and slowly release the push button of the pipette a couple of times. Step 2. Gently wipe the outside of the pipette tip. Step 3. Inject the sample into the corresponding iron testing unit then remove the pipette. The pipette tip is self-cleaning and can be used at least 30 times or more. Step four, firmly close each iron testing unit with a cap. Step five, manually crush all four ampoules in the iron testing unit into small pieces. Step six, shake the iron testing unit to assure all components are well mixed. Step seven, Gently tap the iron testing unit until content is collected at the bottom. Step eight, place the iron testing unit in a sloping position on the dispo rack. Repeat these steps for all iron testing units. Leave each iron testing unit for approximately one hour. For very dark drip samples containing high soot levels, wait approximately three hours. The dot first drip oil analyzer does not require any calibration, though it's recommended to perform a regular zeroing of the equipment before each batch analysis or when the zero button was pressed by mistake. Turn on the drip oil analyzer. Pick up a blank iron testing unit. Alternatively, you can use distilled water. Break all four ampoules in the blank testing unit. Shake well to mix the components. Remove the stopcock and replace it with a filter. Turn the iron testing unit upside down above the cuvette. Gently press on the iron testing unit and fill the cuvette up to the mark. The solution in the cuvette should be clear. Insert the cuvette into the drip oil analyzer according to the instruction label on the drip oil analyzer. Wait until the result is displayed, then press and hold zero until the drip oil analyzer beeps. The analyzer is ready for analyzing the samples. Step one, prepare a dot fast worksheet to log the measurements. The dot fast worksheets can be printed out from the dot fast CD-ROM. Step two, 
Take the first iron testing unit, remove the stopcock and replace it with a filter. Step 3. Turn the iron testing unit upside down above the corresponding cuvette. Wait at least 5 seconds to allow the liquid to separate into two layers. Step 4. Gently press on the iron testing unit and fill the cuvette up to the mark. Step 5. Proceed only when the solution in the cuvette is clear. Step 6. Since the chemicals contain solvents and water, the solution in the cuvette can evaporate and so alter the readings. Therefore, immediately insert the cuvette into the drip oil analyzer as shown on the instruction label on the drip oil analyzer. Step 7. The display will count down while the measurement is taking place. The final reading will be shown in PPM. Read the display result and record it on the DOTFAST worksheet. If the iron level is above 2000 ppm, the display result will read plus 1999. To complete the batch, repeat all previous steps. It's recommended to analyze the residual total base number on each sample by using an onboard BN test kit. Also, log these results on the DOT FAST worksheet. Dispose of the consumables safely according to the waste management plan required by MARPOL regulations and your local waste handling guidelines. Eject the tip from the pipette and keep it for future use. Once the onboard analysis is completed, the drip oil samples can be sent to the onshore laboratory. Step 1. Put the drip oil samples in the sample bag provided with the FAST sample kit. Step 2. Insert for every single batch of drip oil samples the duly completed DOTFAST engine data sheet reflecting the actual engine conditions during sampling. It is best practice to provide the standard FAST sample labels with each single drip oil sample for maximum traceability of the samples. Put all paper documents in a separate sample bag in order to avoid smudging in case of eventual sample leakage. Samples are tested at our dedicated ISO certified laboratories in Belgium and for customers calling at mainland ports at our new facility in China. Where onboard analysis is mainly focusing on measuring the total iron content and residual base number, onshore analysis provides a more complete picture. In the laboratory, the concentration of additional wear metals such as chromium, copper, silicon and manganese are measured. In addition, other elements such as sodium, aluminium, vanadium, nickel, zinc and phosphorus are determined. These elements can provide useful information and insights into the efficiency of fuel purification and removal of cat fines, the running in of piston rings and liner, water shedding and the degree and severity of the wear taking place. A key parameter determined by onshore analysis is the system oil dilution factor. This factor is a measure for degree of contamination of the cylinder drip oil with system oil through stuffing box leakage. It's determined for each cylinder unit. High levels of system oil dilution in the drip oil sample will reduce the concentration of the elements as well as the remaining alkalinity. This may lead to wrong conclusions and corrective actions taken on board. Chevron DotFast service is an accurate tool to select the proper cylinder oil base number and determine the most optimal and economical cylinder oil feed rate for each engine running condition. The two main parameters in the DotFast service analysis to achieve this optimum condition are the total iron content and residual BN. In general, this optimum is achieved when the iron level is lower than 200 parts per million and the residual BN remaining between 15 and 45 BN. These limits depend on the cylinder oil type and are valid when the system oil dilution is lower than 30% volume. This relates to the sulfur base balance. Case 1. The remaining alkalinity is too high, with high iron or wear metal content, 
cylinder oil overfeeding. This leads to an excessive amount of alkalinity is injected into the cylinders and is not consumed. There is a risk of excessive deposit formation and scuffing of the unit if this is maintained for a long time. To solve the problem, reduce the cylinder oil feed rate or use a lower alkalinity cylinder oil. Case 2. The remaining alkalinity is too low with high iron or wear metal content. Cylinder oil under feeding. This leads to a lack of alkalinity in the cylinders resulting in an excessive, uncontrolled level of corrosion, creating high wear and potential engine breakdown if maintained for too long. To solve the problem, increase the cylinder oil feed rate or apply cylinder oil of a higher alkalinity. Case 3. The cylinder oil feed rate and product alkalinity is correct. The remaining alkalinity is in the green zone the corrosive wear is controlled for long-term reliable operation. No action is required. All laboratory results are reported in a comprehensive DotFast report for easy comparison between the individual cylinder units and trending. For each set of drip oils sent to our laboratories, the interpretation and evaluation of the sulfur base balance and all other measured parameters of the onshore dot fast analysis are done by technical experts taking into account the operational parameters in the dot fast engine data sheet. Clear recommendations are given and reported back to the vessel by email. Historical dot fast reports and results can be downloaded via the fast web portal at any time. This internet-linked, worldwide accessible database allows easy production of condition monitoring reports that show the trends for all cylinder units. We recommend performing DOTFAST onboard analysis every 250 running hours and DOTFAST onshore analysis every 1,000 running hours on a routine basis. The DOTFAST service will help you to better understand what's happening inside your engine. In combination with regular scavenge port inspections, it will enable you to obtain the most optimal and economical cylinder lubrication management and will bring a more reliable engine operation. Furthermore, DotFast helps us to develop new cylinder oils with improved formulations ready for future challenges ahead of us.